Wakey wakey Samuel Are you excited for London? I'm excited London baby It's too early for this I know we had five hours sleep because we were busy planning the trip we went to plan three weeks ago How long? That was on both of us I know Because we were great like that I'm so tired I'm halfway through filming a video I'm filming the reading three tickets out hyped books to see if they're worth the hype I was meant to finish it this week and I got lazy so we'll be finishing it this weekend hopefully probably when I get home my eyebrows are falling down I'm gonna go get in line why is there a line for them? yeah alright we're we'll gonna get in line And then we couldn't get off, and then Sam got stranded. <laughs> yeah, because I move out of the way to get back to you. And then you got stuck with a cat. Stuck in the seat. With a cat. You made a cat friend. My eyebrows are falling down, so we need to redo that in the room. Yeah, and then we're going to explore. There was a lady with a cat, and she, this cat didn't make any fuss or anything, and was just sat there this entire ride just chilling. This is so weird. It doesn't even feel like we're in London right now. It just feels like we're in Liverpool, can't lie. Weird. It's weird. Or Manchester, it feels like Manchester. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I don't know anywhere. I'm not directing anybody because I don't know where I'm going. Excited! Oh. I'm scared. We need to get a card and we don't know where we're going and we're lost. Ish. We did it! You made it. Yeah, but Sam was panicking the whole time because he's never been on the London Underground before. <laughs> and I'm so hot. The jumper is on. The jumper is off. The Halloween pumpkins are out. It's too hot. Underground, baby, underground. This is freaky. I don't like this. I feel uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, by the way, we made it to the museum, so that's a bonus. Ooh. I hate that. That made me feel sick. I hated that. <laughs> Okay, let's go in. <laughs> that sounded healthy. Let's go around the museum. Tired. And then we've got a hard rock cafe for dinner at 10.45. So, it was the only booking they had left. So really I felt like we were a bit lost for a lot of it. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm not that interested in on um volcanoes. So that bit like flew over my head. But I love dinosaurs, so that was good. And all the um London. We have got to the goods, so I don't have to 
So I can't answer the way and cry. I have to spend another 40 quid to get three pairs. I'm sorry, but what is that? That's so creepy. Oh my god, look. Wait, is it meant to be like different museum things? Because this is the museum one. If you want to sit down, seat over there. Sam's tired already because he's an old man. You're younger than me as well. It's a different aesthetic in itself, like, it's just a different, different, different breed. It's beautiful here. <laughs> Where are we, Sam? We are at Buckingham Palace. Are you excited? Have you seen this before? No. Okay. No. It's very big. A lot of people have. place to go in the UK. It's a landmark. Let's go down to Westminster. That's what I heard. I'm really tired, so I'm on sledge. It's so nice up here, it's so breezy. It was so stuffy around that like like the, the city area. Because it's so like smoggy. It always has been. But then out here in the open, it's just beautiful and it's just so airy. We have decided we're going to Big Ben. Yes, we are. It's happening. We are on our way to Big Ben, but I just can't get over how beautiful this is. This is so great. But when you see it in person, it's just so much more like pretty. I just think of Peter Pan when I look at that, I'm not gonna lie. We're back in the hotel and I say back, we've just checked in. So I've got one key card that works. Mine is broken and this is not working, so not much I can do about that. How are you? I'm very glad to be here. <sighs> I'm tired. You need a shower. I do need a shower. I want a shower. Just a cold shower though. That sounds quite nice. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I can't believe we're in London. We've done so much today. So today we went to the Natural History Museum with all the dinosaurs. And then we also went to Buckingham Palace. And then we went to, is it St. John's Park? St. George's Park. What was, what was the stop we got off for Buckingham Palace? St. John's? I think so, yeah. We went to St. John's Park, I'm pretty sure. And that was really nice, actually. That was just a little detour so we could get a drink. And it was actually really beautiful and I did show you a clip, it was just gorgeous and it was the one place that was shaded and it was cool. And it was, it was all my idea. Yeah, it was. <laughs> Great idea. We went to, well we found out we had some more time left so we went to Big Ben and it, that was phenomenal. Not gonna lie, seeing it over the, the houses was, in my opinion, nicer than just seeing 
seeing it normally. I'd love to see it poking through. You all right? Yeah. When we came back here, hoping to get back for. Oh, you're. Right, I'm thirsty. Um, hoping to get back for around. Yeah, we were hoping to get back for. Um, what time was it? Five thirty. Yeah. And we managed to get back for. 5.04, so it's 10 past 5 now. We've got literally like an hour to get ready. I can take my makeup off, wash my face, actually have a cold shower <laughs> and get changed. I've, it's just been so humid in London today. Like it's warm, but it's muggy. And unless you're like out in the open, it's like so muggy and humid. It was 70% humidity today, which is nothing like back at my home. My hometown, it ain't humid in the slightest. It's cold, it's like dreary. 1%. It's literally like 5% humid and it's like so dreary and cold and I love it. It's my perfect autumnal place, um, hence the pumpkin shirt. And then I was going around London in a pumpkin shirt, sweating my tits off because I was too hot. This is so ironic. So, I'm going to get ready for tonight. I want to look somewhat nice, so I think I might put on my black turtleneck because my other options are this t-shirt and this isn't exactly that fancy. Uh, or a um, graphic tee that is... Um, an oatmeal-y white because that's that's like the stained vintage look. Just finished my book. Um, so if you want to see me talk about these books in detail, I just finished A Good Girl's Guide to Murder. The video is already up. It's my reading three TikTok hyped books in a week. Um, not in a week, but just three TikTok hyped books. So go. Don't me what do you mean? What do you mean? No, why would I need sugar? I don't need any hot drinks apart from hot chocolate. <laughs> and hot milk, that's it. <laughs> if you want to go see that video, I'll put it in the cards now, the reading three TikTok hype books. Um, but I really enjoyed that. So yeah, I'll see you guys next I'm just the king where I see the love, she sees a friend. <laughs> go away. I'm all ready. Finally, like bang on time. Wait, where's the lift? And see how I'm done now. And I, I've got my little jumper on. My purple skirt. Sam's looking dapper. <laughs> I think we both look pretty good. Oh, my key card started working. Mm -hmm. Uh, not sure. I'm probably used to going. I'll look in a minute. Ooh, got some lovely blonde. Do you need to go mind the door? Oh, it's Please. a more dark night. Going down. Going down. See you there. I'm hoping to get a program Round and maybe something else as well because, like, it's the last time that you ever going to see us. Um, and then we've got Hard Rock. Where are you going? That's the restaurant. Look at her. Looking absolutely stunning today. I think she's got a perfect outfit for Phantom and a nice meal and her hair. Her hair looks beautiful. I was going to sneeze and that's why in the first, first few seconds I went. It's just, <laughs> just coming and then it just didn't come. To King's Cross Station. Let's go. I'm so glad I put this on because the black one would have been too thick, and this is just like the right amount for this time of night. That's true. Well, we just have to walk to the station, and it's about a 10 minute journey, and then a five minute walk from there, and we're at the theatre, and then after that, we have Hard Rock. So, we'll update you when we're at the station. You told her, Dad, it's quite funny. Update you when we're at the station. I talk like a dad, which is wonderful. So, yeah, we'll see you there. Why is it so hot on the underground? Why is it so hot? It's boiling. My mum hates the sun because it's so steep. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Got off at the Piccadilly Circus. I'm about to get to the fair. We're still singing. I'm just Ken. I'm just Ken. <laughs> the whole time we're getting ready, just I'm just Ken. Dude, the whole time we're getting ready, just I'm just Ken. To see the man behind the tan. Fight for me. No, but the whole time. 
time we were getting ready, we were listening to it, so I'm not surprised. Okay, we got the program, we got a bag with a little bit of and we got coke. Yeah. Chin chin. So, yeah, I'm very excited. Thank you. Thank you. Go on. Cheers. <laughs> I made some purchases and I'm not even sad about it. So it was so good, unbelievably good. It was brilliant. I got a pen, I got Sam a pen, I got a program, a brochure, and a hoodie. <laughs> I spent over a hundred pounds in the theater. Over a hundred pounds, because it's my favorite place. It's my favorite show to watch. And therefore, I'm not gonna risk the last time seeing it. I, I knew I'd cry, didn't I? What? I cried. Oh, multiple. Times. The whole ending, I cried. You cried. <laughs> oh, I cried as well. I you did. Oh no, I was a mess. My throat was going. I was like, I was doing this, Sam. <laughs> if it weren't for the other people in the room, you'd have just heard. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying. I, like, I sniffed. I went. <laughs> and then I was like, pull yourself together, girl. God. These lights go up, you're gonna look atrocious. I'm happy now. Do we still serve food? Yes. What time till? Till. Closing? Yeah. Okay. Groovy. So when you're inside, how long do you have left then? Well, it says we've got the table for an hour 15. Jesus Christ! Okay, that's fine. It's because we've got the table at 10.45, and online it says they close at 11. And I'm like, so apparently there's closed doors for everybody else at 11? Which is what the Greek do. I assume it's just if you've got a reservation, you can still go in there and you if it's like walking, then you get to Yeah, I know, that's what I mean. Um, that was brilliant. I was <laughs> I was in love with that. Hey, look, that's a fun fun time. <laughs> tiger, tiger. <laughs> I had so much fun. Um, and I'm so glad I'm in my jumper because it's like a lot of chill tonight. So everything's turning out good. I'm really overwhelmed right now and I'm so going to cry tonight. Aren't I? Yes. I'm definitely going to cry tonight. Should be really overwhelmed. Um, full on breakdown. Yeah, full on breakdown. Are you surprised? No. I'm not. What's your name is book for? Breakdowns. <laughs> so, um, yeah. We're in the Hard Rock Cafe. It is such a vibe. Get a boo. Look, it's just that agree. I feel like I'm in a different country right now. I feel like we're in America. I might get a cocktail. That's how you do it. I'm stuck between those two though. Summer breeze is like vodka, mango juice, pineapple juice. Hurricane is Bacardi rum, Grenadine, which was in that was in that cocktail that smashed me. Yeah. Well, Grenadine, it's like it's like a syrup. Uh, Captain Morgan's dark rum. That's rum. That's strong. Dark rum especially is strong. You're gonna get. You're gonna be smoked. <laughs> well, I'm treating myself. Good. I might do. I'm getting a chicken. Um, I'm not. I'm getting a cheeseburger. Um, it's just such a vibe. We're gonna sit and talk about fans with the opera now for a bit. So. Um... It's so cool. Boo has arrived. Good. <laughs> we are back in the flat. So when I left you, I was just about to eat our, well, I was about to say oh, I was about to eat our dinner. Can't get both of us. <laughs> no, we, we ate our I'm dinner. So <laughs> I didn't end up getting a cocktail because I'm not gonna lie, I am shattered. And I'll hold a face to be sleepy, to be fair. So that wouldn't have ended the best. We then got the tube back, which we were gonna get a taxi because like it's very late. It was 11.45, um, but we got the tube instead for like 10 minutes. So it was okay. A bit rowdy in the station with a lot of um, people who were drunk, um, a lot of people who um, were on drugs. Um, some people who like you couldn't tell what they were going to be doing like you couldn't tell what the next move was going to be so that was really unnerving so if you are like with kids or you're really like nervous about the underground maybe don't go in it 
past 11 o'clock at night because it can be a little bit unnerving but other than that time it's pretty much fine all day um, especially when there's like busy business people in there and stuff it's the most safe then because literally everybody is there um, but at night obviously it's like quite quiet so it can be a bit unsettling just want to reiterate the show was amazing i'm gonna go and get my stuff out the bag and show you it in a minute um i'm in love with that that show i'm in love with it it's a brilliant musical what else did we do i thought like that was it um hard rock was okay and it's our bill was 60 pounds like just rounding it up um so that's 30 each um it was okay sam really liked it i thought it was okay kind of average the burger was a little bit plasticky and chewy but i guess hard rock you're kind of just paying for the name and the vibe but like the fries were nice as the burger wasn't that all that good for me I don't know where we're going tomorrow. I'm hoping we're gonna go to somewhere with like a bit more spice, like a bit more flavor. Maybe like a Turkish restaurant or Greek or anything not American or British. <laughs> Just I don't want, I don't want that because it's dodgy. Um, sorry, that's the plan. I'm gonna look for somewhere soon. So nervous. I'm so excited because like I've not been in like 10 years and I know I really, really like history and everything. Like I'm a big history nerd. I was gonna take it for A level and like I want to do stuff in history and like work in museums, but I chose musical theatre because clearly that's linked with history. I'm obsessed with like the Tudors and everything and history in general uh, from like the medieval era upwards to I'd say just before the Victorian era. So very much excited to see the Tower of London but also so excited because now I know so many more people who are associated with the Tower of London like obviously Henry VIII and everything and so many people who have died that it's just going to be so weird being there and knowing like Oh my god this person took their last steps in this place that was their last ever steps was in this 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 the grounds of the castle it's just gonna be mega weird everything and then we've got newsies to see we've got newsies to see so hopefully i don't go trigger happy with spending in the theater tomorrow i'm gonna share everything i bought in a minute and you'll see that it's definitely worth it just about to start <laughs> i'm just about to start my third book for that um three books hyped up books I read in that didn't make sense reading three hyped books on three TikTok hyped books that's it I'm really tired <laughs> um, it's good if we didn't have that cocktail I know again that's already linked in the cards if you want to watch it which you should if you like me and also <laughs> my goodreads is linked down below because I don't know if you, if you wanted that um fair Right, I'll show you in a minute. Um, see you in a minute because I will be showing you what I got from Phantom. I messed up. It's a few days later. Um, I'm very much in the autumn mood right now. I'm literally looking like very autumnal. Okay, so this is the bag, which I'm actually keeping. I love this bag. It's just so cute of the books I got. So I got a brochure and a program. So the program has mainly the casting and where they went to school and some information about the background of the musical. Back to like the start of Andrew Lowe Forever's stuff, uh, first musicals about him, about the creators of it. Um, and then there is like um, some pictures of the rehearsal mainly pictures of people and where they have previously worked or where they have previously trained. How did you put that? Oh yeah. <laughs> then we've got the brochure. I bought two because I accidentally asked for a program and I wanted this so that I bought this afterwards. The front looks like this and the back is the last scene of Phantom of the Opera. It's quite a cool little thing that's going on. First of all we have this, this comes out and this has pictures of the people who are the cast for the one I watched. So these are the people who are potentially in it. Um, this is the one that I saw the girl down on the bottom right. And the pictures, I think they're just so beautiful. My favorite scene is the boat scene. So that's that. Me and Sam pin. So this is the pin I got of us. It's um, a, the mirror that gets smashed with the rose and the phantom's mask. And then on it, phantom of the opera. And got a tote bag which I then used all holiday. <laughs> uh, so this has the chandelier and it says Phantom of the Opera. And I just, I thought it was really cute. I saw it and I was like that, I need that kind of that. 
I like I, I wasn't I wasn't planning on getting a tote bag but because I have so many but I saw it and I was just like yes this is the jumper I got it's a zip up this was 60 and it's got a phantom written on the side um, and it's got the smashed effect on it which is like the mirror that gets shattered and then on the front it's got a mask from phantom 